astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore will stay in space till 2025. What was to be an eight-day test mission has now turned into an exhaustive months-long stay at the International Space Station or the ISS. This isn't the first time that astronauts have had to essentially extend their stay at the ISS due to technical glitches. Williams and Wilmore, however, would have the longest unscheduled stay if they return only in February 2025. So let's explain to you first why this delay. The two veteran astronauts were launched into space aboard Boeing Starliner on June 5th. But a day later, as Starliner was approaching the ISS, the International Space Station, NASA and Boeing identified helium leaks and experienced issues with the spacecraft's reaction control thrusters. Five of Starliner's 28 thrusters failed during flight and it sprang several leaks of helium, which is essentially used to pressurize the thrusters. Thankfully, it was still able to dock at the space station and the Starliner will now return to Earth uncrewed in early September. And it's Elon Musk to the rescue. Elon Musk's SpaceX is currently the only American company that's capable of sending astronauts to the International Space Station. Although a SpaceX capsule is currently parked at the ISS, it's reserved for the four residents who've been there since March. They're scheduled to return in September this year. Williams and Wilmore are expected to return on SpaceX's Crew Dragon, the launch of which was initially scheduled for August 18th and has now been delayed to September 24th. The mission would launch with only two passengers instead of the originally planned four. The SpaceX vehicle would stay docked at the ISS until February, returning with its own crew as well as the two stranded astronauts. So how will the NASA astronauts actually survive? Because questions have been raised on the food and oxygen supply for the two astronauts for the extended stay. NASA has clarified that the space station is very much stocked with enough provisions to support the crew despite the delays. NASA and its space station partners frequently launch resupply missions to the orbiting complex, carrying additional supplies as well as cargo. In fact, recently, a spacecraft carrying 8,200 pounds of food, of fuel and all possible supplies was sent to the station. So what's it like at the International Space Station? Living in space for an extended period obviously requires unique arrangements. And on the ISS, astronauts can sleep anywhere, the floor, even the ceiling or the falls thanks to zero gravity. They use sleeping stations, similar to phone booths, if you will, with sleeping bags and pillows attached to the floor, attached to the wall or even the ceilings, as we told you. Astronauts can also make video calls, audio calls. They can even send emails across through NASA. The ISS even has a gym where astronauts can work out using vacuum cylinders to simulate weights. They can perform exercises like squats, deadlifts and bench presses to maintain muscle mass and bone density until they return to Earth. But staying in space does take its toll on the human body. Even with all of these facilities, prolonged stays in space are not without significant challenges. Research reveals long-term exposure to microgravity can actually lead to health impacts such as muscle loss, bone loss, vision issues, reduced immunity, an increased risk of blood clots and even DNA damage. Thankfully, most of these changes tend to reverse after six months back on Earth. However, the full impact of long-duration space travel on human health is still being studied. Though this is an unprecedented situation, NASA has assured that Williams and Wilmore are not in danger. It's not just the authorities involved, but the entire world that's now keeping a close, keen eye on the developments and hoping for the safe return of our astronauts.